What's going on guys, Floodsy here and welcome to a new video with me. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, leave a like below and also comment to let me know what upgrade packs are you going to be doing the most of. I love to do the player picks, but with that said, we're going to get into the video. As you can see, the B-roll down in the bottom left hand corner, that's just some packs that we've done recently. But in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to go over the silvers that I bought the other day. I'm going to show you the sales I've made on some of them. And then we're also going to move on and we're going to go into how I do gold gold chem style trading. That is buying cards that have a nice price gap with their shadow or hunter card and selling them for a nice profit. With that being said guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll just get straight into it. Okay guys, as you can see we finally hit 100k. Well, just under 100k, but that's because of two things I have in the transfer list still. Or transfer target still. But what I wanted to show you was... I wanted to go in and show you the transfer list. Last time, last you seen, I picked up a load of silver cards. These silver cards have now all sold. The reason for this is silver cards are very underlooked on the market, especially the ones that aren't League SBC or profitable for League SBC. But they do sell. All silver cards still sell. But as you can see here, especially West Brom, West Brom are extinct a lot of the time, except for marquee matchups. But as you can see here, I sold these two for 6,500. I believe I got these for about 3,000 coins, 2,000 coins maybe. But this is just to show you is that it does work. If we go through, I've, well, I think I have nine pages of them. Yeah, nine, nearly 10 pages of uh, silvers there. But uh, on top of that, I wanted to show you something else I got. Um, during lightning rounds, you can pick up some great cards for very cheap. Like I picked up this Sun, I believe it was for 20. 3k i believe sold it for 28k that's a three and a half k profit which was very good but that being said guys just wanted to show you is my profits just before i cleared off the transfer list so we could get trading some more gonna do some gold chem styles now and we'll be right with you in a second we'll show you how to get into that okay guys so now that we've gone through you've seen the silvers that i've sold what i'm going to do now is show you is how i find for chemistry styles for gold chemistry styles how i find players that i think might be worth looking into so you can see you're on Google, so the first thing you type in is footbin.com. Brings you up to the footbin page. It's a great page if you're just looking for stuff for like players and stuff like that. You go up to the top, you click FIFA 21 players. And what I want to do is I want to set my max price to 10k. Hit filter by price. And then I want to select the gold, just gold rares for now. This brings up all the gold rares, but what I also like to do is if you here, see the fire symbol. You click that and it'll show you the most popular players people use on Footbin. And you just want to pick some players out of this. So we're going to pick... Who will we pick? We'll go for... We'll try Alan, uh, Lucas Mora, and... Who else? We'll go for... Semedo. So as you can see here, with Alan, he should be roughly 4k on the market. Um, with Lucas Mori should be roughly 6.6 .6, and with Nelson Semedo should be roughly 6.9 Now I do that but what they're roughly what the prices are without the chemistry style So I look I'd be looking to get kind of a Lucas for 6.6 K with a chemistry style of a, of a hunter What I'll do now is I'll go back out. We'll go back onto the game and I'll show you how I do that I'll show you how I set up the filters and how I look through them. So that being said guys be back in a second Okay, so here we are. I'm gonna start off with Alan so if we look at Alan, we can just set set the filter base. If you want to see how, roughly how much Alan is going for on his own. So you don't want to see the ones to watch. So we'll just see how much he's going for. So he's going for under 4k. He's going for exactly 4k. So we know Alan is going for 4k. Is there any Alan's, Alan's with a shadow there? I'm just going to buy that because I think that's going to be a good deal. But now what we're going to do, we know Allen without a chemistry so it's going for about 4k. So now we have to see if there's a gap on the Allen. What a gap means is we want to see if there's enough of a gap between his normal card and his card with the shadow. To see if it's worth our while actually buying into the shadows. So we'll see if 5k, see what comes up. Okay, so there's only one page of 5k. There's a few 4200s, 4100s. But there he is for 4800. So what I might do is I might even buy these Allens. Because some of them are position changed as well, which means that position changes are always worth more. So we're just going to buy them Allens up. So now the lowest Allen on the market is 48,000 coins. Um, we're going to try to sell these Allens, see if we can't get anything better for them. But before I do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and we're going to do the other cards. So I believe the other cards were Semedo and uh, Lucas Moore. 
We'll start off with Lucas Moore just because he has a hunter instead of a shadow. So you just want to search him up. Um, then you want to see again, once again, same thing as before. You just want to see how much he's going for on his own. So I think Footbin said about 6.6k. So we'll check 6.6k, see what comes up. Okay, so there's one page of 6.6k. There's a few 6.5, 6.4. So we'll say 6.5, 6.6k roughly. But then we want to check, see how much he is with a hunter. Seven. So 7.3k, so 6.5, 7.3k, that's a very good gap in my opinion. Well, it's not. It's an average gap, but it's a good gap for now. What that means is that if we can pick up Allens for roughly the price without the without the chemistry, or if we can pick up Allens for the same price with a chemistry style as without a chemistry style, we can sell it down for, with the chemistry style. But we've seen there was none, there's none really there, so we're gonna see if we can bid on any. So six minutes, so I know they're going for about 7k, so I'm just gonna bid on these. Hopefully we can pick one up. Okay, some of these have fairly long listings, so I'm not going to list them too many. And then we're going to go back out and we're going to do some other now. And this is a great method, guys, when these are around the 100k mark to help you get up because there's more coins, more profit per card in these. But we're just going to try Samado now. Samado is a very popular right back for the Premier League. And he does have nice links, links up to Ronaldo Sanchez and Ronaldo as well. Which, especially that new Ronaldo that came out, a lot of people are linking up to him through the Prem. So that's about 6.8k. So I think he's going for about 7k. No, he's going for 6.9k. So is there any here with a shadow for 6.9k again? Just scroll through and look. And there's not. So we're going to see what the min price is with a shadow. So we know his basics going for 6k, so we'll see what he's going for with a shadow on him. So with a shadow he's going for about 7 points, between 7, 7 and 8k, so that's another good card that would be good to get in between. So if I if I put it on for 6.5, and you can also snipe these, in my opinion again sniping isn't great but it does work. And we'll see if we can get one to pop up. But anyways guys, if you are liking this, what I plan on doing, I'm going to be doing a bronze pack method video. Um, basically showing you how you can make profit from bronze pack method as well. We'll be going into League SBC soon. We just need to get a lot of coins, a fair few coins behind us. Roughly 300k behind us before we start League SBC method. That's the plan. And then I also, because player picks have been released tonight, and I believe it's an 85 plus upgrade, I will go on to the other account, the old account that I had. Do a load of player picks for you guys, and there'll be another video on that. So stay tuned because it's going to be a lot. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button. But we're going to go back out now and we're going to set, list up these Allens. If I can remember where they are. As you can see there, there's Allens I've done. I saw them for 4344. 3 for Fred. Fred is another good card. But when you're looking for cards to do, it's very easy to do it yourself. If you're just looking for popular cards that are meta. What, that, what meta means is that they're usable cards even at this stage of the game. Even though they're goals, they're still quite usable. So again, we know Alan is going for roughly, what was Alan going for? Can't remember, we'll go back out and we'll check to see what Alan's going for, just so we don't get messed up. So, Alan with a shadow. And, ba -ba -bam. I believe it was about 4.8. A. Now, so Alan with the Shadows go for 4.8k. We'll just see if this one sells. Well, we'll list mine up now. So mine are there. We're going to overlist some of them to make the bottom ones look a bit more attractive. So I have this for 4.1. So if I was to list... Just one second. I'm not really good at maths as some people might know. So 4,800 coins would leave us with 4,500 coins profit. That'd be a 400 profit per card. So we're going to list two up for 48 and two up for 47. See if they sell. That was a nice one for 4K. And we're just going to see if they sell. Hopefully they sell relatively quickly for us. But what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to go away now. I'm going to see if I win any of these bids. And then I'm also going to see if the Allen sell. And when they do, I'll be right back just. So I'll see you in a second.
Okay guys, we're back and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you what we've got now. Now I went, as you know, and I went and I bought Allens and some Lucas Moores. And as you can see here, they've all sold. They all sold for in around the same price, but you want to check what their gap is. This is why we say check the gap. If they have a gap, you can make great profit on them. These all did have either a Shadow or a Hunter on them. I also went and got Fred to see how he would do. But Lucas Moore was 7,800 coins. was selling for, I think I got them for about 5,000, if I remember right, 6,000 maybe. But it's a very good way of trading, especially when you're in between kind of 10K and 100K. I find this a great way of doing it. With that being said, guys, I just wanted to show you that, show you the results from what I was doing. Next video, I'm going to have 30 player pick packs, 30 player picks and the 85 plus double pack. That's going to be on my other account, but we'll still upload it. We'll still show you what, what we get. The, double, or the player picks are one of my favorite upgrade packs of the year. So with that being said, guys, if you're new here, like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you'll know as soon as that video goes live. But with that being said, I'll see you later.